Well, it had been announced for a while now, and it had become one of the worst kept secrets, but it's finally official. Donald Trump is jumping into the 2024 presidential race. He made his announcement from a Mar-a-Lago ballroom just a few minutes ago, and he made a statement, uh, and I'll quote him, in order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. Now, two things, in my opinion, are clear. Number one, the early, early announcement uh, is more than likely aimed at preventing people from racing against him and securing as much of the contributions from deep-pocketed contributors as possible as early on in the process. Other thing that is clear, in my opinion, this is going to be an interesting relationship between these two people over the next few months. Ron DeSantis has scored a very definitive victory in the midterm election, a midterm election that was beyond lackluster uh, for the Republican Party. So I don't think that there's any chance that Ron DeSantis, if he decides to run, is going to step aside for the pleasure of letting Trump uh, run unopposed. On the other side, Donald Trump has made it very clear, as he had in the past with other people, that he has dirt on a lot of his opponents, and he is not shy about sharing it. Now, Donald Trump, we all know, has a very, very loyal base. They will do anything they can in order to see him elected. Uh, but on the other side, Ron DeSantis also has a very loyal base. And there's a lot of people at the Republican Party that are thinking that it's time to freshen up their look and get behind somebody like DeSantis. This could create deep fractures within the Republican Party. Some people are even theorizing that this will be what makes the Republican Party split. Um, we'll see what happens. There's still a lot of months uh, before the actual campaign starts. But one thing is sure for right now, Donald Trump has entered the 2024 presidential race.